Just done a kitchen pickup look. Got quite a bit in. Surprising what you can get in there, you know. Look at that, lovely and clean. Cleaned it all up this weekend. Only trouble is I've got a um, got a dent there. But anyway, let's crack on. So that's it, we've got all these uh, units in off van and uh, we're going to crack on with that in a second. I'll just take you through here. Mark's been plastering it, he's a really good plasterer, he's been doing it all his life, absolutely spot on. This here is going to be a secret door, we're going to crack on with that next week, so uh, stay tuned for that one. And we've been tiling in this bathroom, well, getting it ready, I've tiled one wall, Mark's just skimming the ceiling now, and uh, yeah. This is ready, so we're going to be doing this in between fitting the um, kitchen and stuff. So yeah, there's a bit to do. So I've chipped it here, so that tile's going to have to be changed. That'll be a nightmare. But anyway, let's crack on with this kitchen. So these are legs, they only go in one way. Which is... I think, let's start with this one, I think, sure. The pain. Like that, that way. Then you shove them down. They used to, years ago, they used to sit, the plastic used to sit on these as well to support these, but they just stopped doing it. They must have made them secure. Then you just get your hammer, give it a big tap to start with, and just knock it down. That's that, then get your leg. Now just screw it top. And then you get a little cap. They go on there, and then we're setting ours at, as Plymouth 165, so we're going to give it another 5mm. That'll give us um, 170 from bottom to top, so we'll set them all up and then we can adjust them. We've got an hole underneath, and you can adjust them with a screwdriver normally. On some of them have, there look, that's got an hole in. So you can get your screwdriver and alter them if you need to. But if you set them up properly, this floor's going to be pretty much bang on, so it should be good. Oh yeah, that's bang on. I think it goes that way, so that'll go to the window. Then it comes down here, a couple of wall units, and then like a breakfast bar here. That's that, that way, is it? Right in that corner, that goes. There's a gap here in the pot washer. Oh, yeah. yeah, sorry, there is, yeah. Washer there. So, does that go right up to that end? Yeah, that goes right in the corner. That's a drawer, that. Is that a drawer? So these are wall units, this is spot breakfast bar and um, we're just going to really put some legs on Come with these, you can either drill these out and put them in or they have got screw holes in them as well so I'm just going to break them off and screw them on, it's a lot easier That's it, then we'll set them on like that and screw it back I've measured leg back and it's 55 from there so it'll be somewhere about there, and then we'll get them screwed on. These uh, looks like uh, it's an handle um, There's no handles on these drawers, it looks like it's just got these lips on them all, on the doors. So, you put it like this, on this side here, where the middle is, you want to be 18mm back with them blocks, and then on this side you have them flush. So you set them 18mm back on that side, flush on that side. If I do 18 mil. You can also get a door, try that on and just mark it well. Well, actually, I've got this square, which is a lot better, so. I can just put that on like that. And I've got my 18 mil every time, which is good. Yeah. And that'll go like that. 
Put this on so this board goes on this side and it just stops your food or whatever you've got in there, pans, whatever, dropping out. And I'm just screwing it on. You've got to get it on this way, so I've got to just drop it off and then I put these on. And then I should be able to feed this now. Move this out of the way. There we go. Mm. Back on. So these holes here are for to get your brackets on. So you just get your drill and drill through them. Make sure you drill it's long enough though. Plugs that bit for that bit. I think try they are, I think they are brown mark. Try one because it's a bit slack. Yeah, slack as hell. Yeah, brown plugs. Brown plugs. <laughs> the screwdriver is just long enough, just. Right, I've just cut this off. These are just what side panels. So we've got this in, so we've got these on. This is a sliding drawer here with some trays in, and trays going. And we'll just put this door on so we can get um, sort of side panels out. Wash it here, and then this end here, on, we've got this corner on. So this end I've got a corner this way here. This is just going to be tight up, these are the drawers. Luckily, there's no handles going on, so it can stay tight up to this end. But I know why they've done this, it's because we need a worktop breakfast bar to go in here. And if we'd have shoved it that way, we, as a breakfast bar, it would only been that wide. So that's why we've, it's been made like this, to try and get it as close as possible. So we'll see how that looks once we get it all fitted. Yeah. So I'm just doing a talk over on this bit. So we're just putting the drawers in. They do come with a manual, tells you how iron that. But it is a pain, honestly. I mess about with these. I just put two screws in at a time and then test it. And if I need to go a bit little higher, a little lower, I can hide the screws, you know what I mean? And then I've only made two holes, which are going to be covered up by the hinge anyway. So that's what we're doing here. They are an absolute pain, these drawers. I don't know why I struggle with them, but I do. Um, but yeah, a little bit of time and patience, and you'll get there in the end. So we've got them two fitted, just got a bit of a gap there, look. So we're just going to rock this down a little bit. So this, this one here is down. The other side. So it's got a little one that goes in between this one. There we go, we've got a it's got a little drawer on top as well. Three knives of fork, so that draws in a drawer. I just had to change measurement on that and just bring it up a little bit. But it's looking nice now. There you go. So I've got some really big plugs and screws for these because they're really, uh, it's them um, lightweight blocks and it, they do not like holding. So if you can get that, that's there, look where it spreads open. So it's right middle of block when it goes in. So it gives it a really good fix. So 
So if I marked it out right, it should fit. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, it feels like it's long. It's so long, yeah. It's good. Yeah. So there were no switching for the microwave, so we just put all the uh, chase out cable out because it's going to have a backboard on and then it can just throw a wiring down to that because uh, I seem to have forgot the microwave. So we've got that side on. I've just put that door on so we know we're we're good there. Microwaves, it's not plumbed, it's not um not plumbed, wired in or anything. I've just I've just set that in just to make sure it fits in all. I'm gonna sort this out now, this backboard. So this backboard, we've got a massive long backboard because that's all you can have. And um, we're gonna cut it to here, and then we that's flipped round, so we're gonna have a um cupboard door on that. So this will be a little cupboard. Just gives you that extra little bit of space. Uh, first time I put it in, I flipped it the other way because I didn't have any pictures. Then when I saw a picture, I'm like, oh no, there's a door there. So flip that back round and we'll cut that board. But this is why I thought it was just one big board because that's how long boards are. So we're going to waste half of that. But that's how it is. Let's crack on. <laughs> Come outside in sun today. It's a uh, nice day today, like. Why not work in the sun, eh? To give him a tap with hammer, these are a bit tight. When I put this on then, this cabinet moved a bit and I've just checked it and it is a bit loose this so what we'll do is I've leveled it back up but when we get these worktops on we'll get them all set, get it set up and then I'll lift leg up and I'll glue them to the floor that we know it ain't going to move then but we'll just leave it loose for now because we can get it square when we get worktop and if it needs to be a couple of mil that way or that way we can move it So that's it, we've got that in. Worktop next time. So the worktop's a laminate, composite laminate. I haven't fitted one before, so I'm a bit nice. It's only 12 mil thick as well. Um, I think you've got a biscuit joint together and stuff. I haven't done one before, so that'll be interesting next week. So I'll see you then. <laughs>